Hi folks, Akwaba. Today we're going to have our setup that we've been waiting for for our fishes to be able to spawn. But first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to add the fishes. What I tend to do and I advise people is that you need to add your male fishes. In our, in our previous video, we did identify the males and the females. What we're going to do today is that we'll add the males first and then I tend to keep them there for some few hours or a day for them to establish their dominance in there and then we keep them there. After that we add the females. When we've added the female, now we can do the actual setup where the fishes will be spawning. So welcome, this is Fifi for Fish Zoo, another edition of how to breed gold fishes. I'm going to add the male fishes I have. I'm actually going to do fan tails. Yes, and I have these. I have an oranda and then a fan tail which turned out to be single tailed that has was basically bred using black mold. Yes, I'll bring you closer so you have a look at these two fishes, two amazing fishes. This right here is over a year old and this is also just about a year old, yes. These are in the right conditions, they are new here today, they will wander around, try to get comfortable, then later on I will add the females. This right here is a breed from black mole and shibunkin. You can see the tail, how cute it is. This is so nice. This is also uh, an oranda, a red cap oranda. And these are the males I'm going to use. So later we will add the females. That for you will be in a bit, but for me in some hours time. We have this fan tail these two other these two well um, normally as three males for one female yes but these males here are very aggressive so I want to reduce the amount of stress on the females that is it so the next step we're going to have is to condition the water for them to activate spawning spawning basically normally takes place in the early hours of the morning 5 a.m. to about 6 a.m. spawning happens so let's go on with the setup actual setup where they will be laying the eggs there are a few things you can use for your setup where your goldfish will be spawning on you can make for yourself a spawning mop uh, which basically looks like a mop we use in our hopes you can also use a uh, tread but mind you, you shouldn't have any chemicals that you make them a lot yourself and then they will just spawn on there. But I advise that if you have it, you use it. This is um, natural aquarium plant. That is live plant. This is a grass. This is very simple. This is just normal grass. Uh, the soil in the rubber and then in the disposable cup. You have it there. I use this it works perfectly I also have the anacaris yeah that is the anacaris I have here does here too I use and it helps a lot so let me climb in here and then get you guys what I'm doing is that I'm going to provide them an area where they will be laying the eggs. Yes, an area for them to lay the eggs. The aquarium grass I have here, I put it in the corner. They like to splash the eggs on them. Okay, so I just realized that my water is too much. I need my water to just here. So then now I'll have more of the amicaris on top. 
so that they will be able to lay the eggs on them. I have these. These are easy to grow. So just the stem of it and you have them all over in your aquarium. So this is it. This is it. Um, what's going to happen is that the male is going to chase the female trying to push its belly. It will be pushing its belly and then the female will then release eggs spontaneously. The male will also release melt which is sperm and is going to fertilize the eggs. That is how fertilization takes place. So fertilization takes place out of the uh, womb or out in the water. That's how in the water. What, what happens is that when the eggs are released, the melt is also released and then it mixes up quickly and then the eggs are fertilized. That is why you need more males to be able to have um, a higher percentage or a higher rate of fertilization of your eggs. Also, what we need to also focus on here is that these guys need a large area to lay the eggs. That is why I have a lot of these plants scattered all over so that they can anywhere they just splash the eggs. The eggs are sticky and will be uh, stuck all over the plant as well as even the glass that is the aquarium. Some will fall to the bottom all right, which most often they themselves will eat. And I will explain in the next video when spawning has happened. So we wait for spawning to occur and that should be the early hours of tomorrow. And hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss that video as well. Thank you.